All right, so Meghan Markle's back in the news, and allegedly she named the person, the royal family member who speculated about Archie's skin color. Remember when they said it was racist? Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. When Meghan Markle joined the royal family, she had a poor relationship with the truth. I'm not going to call her a lie. She had a very poor relationship with the truth. And she was trying to get sympathy from the world by saying, hey, the royal family's full of racists, right? Full of racists. And during the Oprah interview, the infamous Oprah interview, she said this about one of the members of the royal family being racist. Check this out. Around this same time, so we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? And who, who is having that conversation with you? What? So, um, there is a conversation. Hold up, hold up. There's Stop several right now. There are several conversations. There's a conversation it. with you, with Harry, about how dark your baby is going to be, potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. Now, Oprah, in this interview, is being hyper hyper extra right no one listen listen even black people want to know how dark the baby is going to be right but you know what L let's finish this part up so you can so you can hear the rest of this and you're not going to tell me who had the conversation i think that would be very damaging to them okay so let's just make sure we are clear what's going on Meghan markle's out there saying there's a racist in the family and they they are racist because they asked how dark the baby's going to be. But that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, right? I've asked my black friends, right, who married Hispanic people, who married, married white people, hey, how do you think the baby's going to come, when the baby comes out, how do you think it's going to look, right? That's not a racist question. Matter of fact, it was so ridiculous. Here's Chris Rock uh, making fun of it. Check this out. Here's Chris Rock. Listen to what Chris Rock says about this. Racist is so racist. Some of that shit she went through was not racism. It was just some in-law shit. <laughs> Sometimes it's just some in-law shit. Cause she's complaining. I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> no, bro, they're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby was gonna be. They're so racist. They wanted to know how brown the baby's gonna be. I'm like, that's not racist. <laughs> Cause even black people wanna know. Back, back. How brown the baby gonna be, shit. Now, you would think that would be enough to show that this whole thing was just made up BS, not racism at all, right? You would think that would be enough, right? Even black people are saying that's not racist, she's just being extra. But then on top of that, Prince Harry, when he was doing his interviews to sell his book, he comes out and straight up says it wasn't racist at all. It, just because I know you guys don't believe me, we got the video. Check it out. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... No, we well, of... The British press said that. Right. I... Did, did Meghan ever mention that they were racist? She said there were troubling comments about... Yeah, oh, there, there was skin concern color. about his skin color. Right. Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. Total backtrack, right? Matter of fact, they had even won an award. They had won an award for challenging the racist world family. And then he comes out and says, it wasn't racism at all. Of course it wasn't racism. It, and nobody's saying that. That's ridiculous. But that's what they put out there for almost two years, right? And now think about this. Megan is not going to the coronation for whatever reason. And now she's trying to bring this back up. Like this is all of a sudden come back up. So let, let, let's read the article. Let, let's, let's, let's see what the, hell's come, what the hell we're talking about. The alleged racist senior royal was sensationally named in a 2021 letter from Meghan Markle to King Charles III. Just days after it was announced that Markle would skip King Charles' coronation, 
Not really surprising to me, right? It's right after she says she's not going. All of a sudden, this is coming back up again. How could people not see this is what it is? On May 6th, it was reported that she had ex expressed her concerns about unconscious bias. No, she said it was racism. And now we're talking about unconscious bias, so okay, we'll go with that. In the royal family, in a letter to the king, the Telegraph reported Friday. A source confirmed to page six. Yes, there was a correspondence, so there was a letter. There were letters back and forth from the Duchess of Sussex to the king. Now, this is their statement. But she's moved on. This was two years ago. This has nothing to do with her decision not to attend the coronation. So why the hell are we talking about it, right? Why, why the hell are we talking about this thing? If this has nothing to do with the coronation or anything, why are we even talking about this? The report is bound to be hugely embarrassing. How could this report be embarrassing? How could it be about? Nobody believes this thing was racist. Everybody believes this thing was overblown. But now all of a sudden, it's embarrassing because it's coming back up again. No, nobody believes that that was racist. Um, matter of fact, people from BLM who thought it was racist now say it wasn't racist because he said it. Like, like no one now, Meghan and Harry have said it wasn't racist. So why would it? Why is it even an issue? Oh, I just don't know. However, for the royal family, as Charles 74 and Queen Camilla prepare to be crowned in front of a global audience. So that's what this is about, right? This is, this is about to kind of take some shine off of that. So let's look at this. According to the outlet, the notes were sent following the March 2021 Oprah Winfrey interview in which Marco 41 alleged that a member of the royal family had speculated. We, we, just, we just saw that. We, we saw that. Page six understands that the letters identify the name of the senior member. Remember, it's a senior member of the royal family who allegedly made the comment. At the time of the interview, Palace Insiders briefed that it was neither Queen Elizabeth nor Prince Phillips. God rest their souls, because they're, they're gone now. Christopher Anderson's book, Brothers and Wives Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan, did in fact name Charles. They named King Charles. Wow. That's breaking news. As the one who questions Archie's skin tone, but... This has never been proven. So some people were speculating, it seems like in this book, they're saying it was King Charles who said it, but now they're backtracking from that. The Telegraph was told that both Charles and Markle acknowledged that the individual's remarks was not made with malice. So it's not made with malice. It's not racist. Why are we even talking about this thing? Hey, I wonder how dark the baby's going to be. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's World War III. And you got Oprah. <gasps> They asked how dark the baby's gonna be? Like, she's never asked that question. Of course, that's what you ask. Oh, I wonder how the baby's gonna look. Now you're a racist. That's Oprah for you, right? I, I would have never, if somebody had told me Oprah would have, would have made such a big deal of it, but I'm gonna, she's trying to sell the interview, so I'm thinking that that's why she did it. The palace is also aware of the success frustration that the initial email correspondence about the coronation made no reference to their children and their potential involvement. You see, this is why it's coming out. They're upset, so they're trying to throw little pieces of shade out there to shade the king right before he's getting coronated. That's kind of messed up, though. That's kind of messed up. If I was the king, I'd be like, yo, that's, you, you're being messed up here, right? You know it's my big day coming, and all of a sudden you're trying to throw the shade aside here? What the hell's going on? The omission only fueled their feeling that their family plays second fiddle to the Welshers. Was it Welshers? They are second fiddle, unfortunately, right? You got the, the king in waiting, which is William and Kate and their family, and you're number two, right? But they're billionaires, right? They have all the money in the world. <laughs> Again, Harry and Meghan, they want to be in front of the world. They want to, you know, remember, I, I like the South Park privacy tour thing, right? They want privacy, but on their terms, right? And hey, we all would like it like that. But Harry and Meghan, you can't get it like that anymore, right? Because you can't put yourself out there and when somebody says something about you, you kind of claim that you, you want privacy, right? So it, it just that just doesn't happen that way. During the Oprah interview, Marco alleged that several conversations, several conversations, had taken place between unnamed members of the royal family, and we just heard that, and the Duke about their unborn son, about what their unborn son would look like. Funny part about this is that Meghan lies so much that when Harry fact checks her, he, they, they, they kind of just like throw it under the rug. Now look at this, right? During the Oprah interview, Marco alleged that they had several conversations, right? Because remember, he was like, people are having it, they're talking to you about it. She's like, no, they had several conversations. There is a conversation, hold up, hold up. There's several right now. There are several conversations. A con so she says that. Now, later on, when Harry gets there, Harry says, no, it wasn't several conversations. It was just a single conversation that had taken place. So you see how it was, oh, they're talking about this all every day. Now it's just like, oh, no, 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 babe. 
I, I only told you we had one conversation. It wasn't several conversations. So she, so even in that little exchange, she's lying, and ha- and she's fact checked by Harry. Harry's the one. Her husband's the one that fact checked her. Crazy. This was awkward. I was a bit shocked, he admitted. Charles was said to be surprised by the claims while Harry's brother, Prince William, blasted. We are very much not a racist family. Because obviously, that wasn't racist. Harry says it wasn't racist. Meghan now, now they all say it's Now, no one claims it to be racist. Even though they went on a reward for, <laughs> for combating racism. No one says it's racist. But that's an issue. In 2021, the writers of Finding Freedom, Finding Freedom, the one that, that, that was the, the hit piece, the Harry and Meghan hit piece that they were putting out against the royal family, alleged Sussexes po- had pondered naming the alleged racist royal on TV, but thought it would be too damning. So it wasn't racist, but they were going to name the person as racist. I, this is so confusing. It w- was it racist or not? They're saying it was, they're saying it wasn't. Who, who really knows? So while promoting the book Spear, then he said it wasn't racist, which we already saw that. Additionally, the Telegraph reported that Markle still feels that the concerns, that concerns she had while living behind palace walls that led to her feeling suicidal. So now it's racist, she's feeling suicidal, have not been resolved. Well, she doesn't even live there anymore. What is she talking about? I, don't, I just don't believe anything. Markle says. Like, you know, several conversations, Harry says this one. It's racist, she's, the family's racist, Harry says they're not racist. Ah, you know, who do you believe? Who do you believe? Even if you believe, if you're pro-Team Sussex, who's telling the truth? Were there several conversations or were there one? Right? Pick a side. And whoever side you pick, the other person has to be inherently not telling the truth. Right? Or mistaken. But remember, she said it was several conversations. He said it was only one. A spokesman for Markle tells Page Six Saturday, the Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about the correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus that they alone are creating. But this is only coming out because obviously they're putting it out there to try to Throw some shade in the coronation because now that we know, you know, she's not going, the kid's not going, you know, don't forget their kids are princes and princesses and she's the duchess and he's a duke and the king is being coronated and the whole family's not going to the coronation. It's just going to be, let's just send Harry. That's, you know, it, I think it shows kind of the pettiness that they're going through. But again, you know, I've done a lot of research on the Mel Meghan Markle thing and there, I know there's probably a lot of people out there who support Team Markle and, and Team Harry. So let me know, let me know how you feel about this story. Or is this just a whole big whoop to do about nothing? Do you think King Charles is the one that made these comments about the skin color? And even if it is King Charles, does that mean anything? Does that make you like, so what? Again, I will say this. I have a friend who happens to be black and he married someone who's white and they were pregnant and having a baby. And I said, oh, I wonder how the baby's going to look, right? Oh, is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? Is it going to be light skin, dark skin? You know, is it going to have straight hair or is it going to be have curly hair like black people? Who knows, right? But you speculate and you, it's a little fun and then the baby comes out, you say, okay, oh, you know, interesting. But this is one of those few things where I, I personally just feel that she's bringing all this out or that the Sussexes are bringing all this out to just draw some attention from the coronation and hopefully, you know, get the whole woe is me factor, right? I told the king I was asking for help and, you know, I don't think anybody's buying it. So let me know how you feel in the comment section. My name is Nate the Lawyer. You can check out another video right now.